Hey everybody, I wanted to talk about the Taurus TCP. Wanted to show the takedown for the frame and the grip. Uh, you've seen a lot of people take apart the uh, the barrel, the slide, um, have all that apart. I'm not going to show that. Uh, you can find that elsewhere. Uh, what, what I am going to show you is how to take this all apart. Um, first thing you need to do is take out this pin right here. Um, you can um, you can push it out from either side. I've already got it started, so we're just going to pull that loose. You have to use a punch. I'm using a small screwdriver. It still works. All right, there's the pin. Pin comes out. Next you have to do is take off this little cap at the bottom. See that little little cap right there? Just push some, put something underneath it. Put your thumb over it or you know whichever finger and pry up. You don't want that going flying. You don't want anything on this going flying. There's your cap. Next, we need to remove this spring. Now, uh, you can use needle nose, you can use uh, or a pick. I like a pick. Works better, uh, in my opinion. So just pry up, and then move it into the mag well, and there it is. The pin will just fall out. There's, there's the pin. It has two little grooves in it. Uh, you can see those grooves. Now, the whole assembly is ready to come out. Um... What you need to do is lift from the front. There are springs on either side, so grab both sides. Pull up at the front, pull up slightly at the back, and then pull forward. So you're you're pulling up, then forward, and then pulling the whole assembly out. Now, this spring, like I said, is under tension. It will go flying. Take your mag release, your mag latch, sorry, slide latch. Take that out keep your spring covered and then get your spring out it will go flying I've had it go flying spring comes out just make sure just care be careful with it um, also you have your ejector and uh, my trigger bar just fell right out so I'll show you that in just a second uh, my ejector just comes right on out the inside it kinda swings in and then comes out um, the trigger bar transfers the motion from the trigger to the hammer. Um, this spring is is the only thing that holds it in place. It's kind of under spring pressure. It uh, it actually came undone on me. Um, but I'll show you how to put it back together. You'll see how it all works. Here's the trigger bar. That lifts right out. And then you've got the hammer. Use fingernail, anything small. Just grab this and that is your hammer pivot pin that comes right out. Then here's your hammer and spring. They will come apart. You don't have to take them apart, but they will probably inevitably fall apart on you. It goes into the thinner of the two grooves, so just remember that. All right, set that aside. Now you've got your trigger. Now what you do, if you want to get this all the way apart, there is a little hole at the base of this. I'm using a sewing needle. Anything that's stiff and very thin will push on this pin that you just heard fall out. This pin actually goes in that hole in the trigger. See that hole? That actually is what was holding the uh, bar, or the um, trigger bar spring. That was holding that in place. It's also holding the trigger and the trigger pivot in place. Trigger pivot goes through the other side, the mag, uh, the slide latch actually rides on it. Just push that out and it falls out and there's your trigger. So you've completely disassembled other than your safety. I'm not going to take that apart. There's no reason to. Now things you might want to modify to improve the trigger on this gun. Just polish all of this area. Um, mine is actually quite smooth. Um, I tried to make it as smooth as possible. This is where the trigger bar rides. I've also polished my trigger bar. That is also very smooth. Um, inside the end of the trigger bar is a little area where this is where the um, the hammer bar pivot or hammer pin rides. This rides on it. Um, this was actually quite rough. You can even see some flashing there. I smoothed it out as much as I could without a, removing a huge amount of material. 
it's no longer rough when it rides on that so that's that's actually works out pretty well um, I did on the trigger pivot um, I did polish right in here and right out here this is the only part that actually has any metal to metal contact um, so this won't require a huge amount of work um, but uh, getting it smoother is, it does help also the sides of your hammer uh, getting those smooth will help um, this isn't going to make a huge improvement but anything is better than what it is now mine actually was pretty rough when I started uh, so it's quite uh, quite good now good and smooth now it, to assemble you're going to take your trigger put it in place hold it in place and then you're going to take your trigger pivot slide it in there and then push it all the way in there we go then you're going to take your spring with the spring you want to insert it and have this this pointing down um, that should be down you don't want it up when you put it all together because uh, it won't have the sufficient spring pressure to hold everything um, or to work properly um, so once all that's done align the holes get that hole aligned then use your trigger pin insert it in there and push it all the way down there's that next you want to get your hammer in place take your hammer slide it right up in there and then while you're holding it in place grab your hammer pin it's got a little bit of a head to it you're going to slide that in place and that's going to, just going to hold everything together now when you're putting your trigger bar in place take there's a little groove right there you're going to capture this spring and you're going to bring it around and as you do so, try and get it right over that front pin. Slide it in, the, in the, or drop it in the back, and then drop it right on top of that bar, or that pin. And now it's all together. And now when you pull the trigger, you can see how this motion actually, and this is why you get so much tension, in, or um, why it's so important that this is smooth, because there's a lot of moving part or moving surface there um, so the smoother all of that is the better uh, okay put this back together like I said it doesn't take much for this to come apart so uh, you got to be careful with all of these parts okay that's back together now we're gonna move on to the other side we're gonna put our ejector back in place take the ejector you can bring it in from the top or the bottom you have to get this blade portion into the hole um, this is not held in by anything at the moment once you get it in place it's liable to fall back out so keep it held um, all you have to do is get the blade of this 